first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. You know, and peace and salutation to the Akiyams and Maudi who push in this gospel, this truth to the four corners of the world. You know, it is the brother Cora from Trinidad Camp <laughs> coming to you to another lesson. You know, this lesson I want to do is concerning repentance. You know, because a repentance doesn't mean anything if you keep doing what you're sorry for. Right? If you keep doing the same thing over and over. Right? It doesn't mean, it, uh, repentance doesn't mean nothing again. If you continue doing your same wickedness. Right? He say, um, the Romans 6 verse 1. He say, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Right? So the Heavenly Father asking a question. Right? Should all you continue in sin because grace day? Because all you had the grace day, all you, you just continue doing wickedness. Because all you know all you might be forgiven. Verse 2. He say, Yahweh forbid. Right? God forbid that. Right? So not because grace are bound, all you continue in wickedness. Right? Because this grace is just for a period of time. To get yourself right to turn the back to the heavenly father. Right? Because this comes just like, uh, you know, uh, going and take out a vehicle. Right? And you don't have the, you don't have the, the money to pay the monthly installment. Right? And time come upon you. You know, and the people want to repossess back the vehicle. Right? So they, they get a, a, a month grace period day to make up the money or a, a week. Grace spirit and make up the money. And you ain't make up the money. What do you think gonna happen? They're gonna repossess that vehicle, they're gonna take back that vehicle. Right? So the most I give you that grace period to turn back on time. Right before we dis before we get destroyed. Right? So we just had a grace period that's for a period of time because hey, that's now hey, the box was sealed, you know. And hey, the doors of repentance hey, go close. So right now hey, the doors of repentance open. You know, if we turn back to the Lord, you have a basham your shy. Right? There is um, Isaiah 55 verse 7. He said, Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, for he will have mercy upon him, and to our power he will abundantly pardon. Right? So, a hey, that grace is to give yourself right towards the Heavenly Father. Alright? The Hebrews 10 verse 26. He says, For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. To know when we come to the knowledge of the truth, eh? That hey, thou shalt not commit adultery, right? Thou shalt not hey, go unto another man's wife. You know, and we men want to continue doing that, knowing hey, the knowing the law, thou shalt not commit adultery, commit that act. You know, but continue hey, doing it. Continue going and doing that wickedness by going unto your neighbor wife. Right? So the most I say for for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remain it no more sacrifice for sin. Right? So hey, this thing is not no this thing is not no game thing. Right? Not because grace day or they will continue in sin. That is madness. God forbid that. Right? There is Proverbs 26, verse 11. He say, As a dog returneth to his vomit, so is a fool returneth to his folly. Right? So as a dog we turn it to you vomit, you're going back to your old ways. You know, having sex with, you know, a, your neighbor wife or, you know, a, a friend wife or whoever. Right? You're going back to your old folly, you're going back to your ways and you continue doing that. Knowing after you don't come to the, the knowledge of the truth. Right? There is um, Romans 1 verse 32. He say, who knowing the judgment of power that they which commit such things are worthy of death 
not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You know, and a lot of people just take this grace thing, you know, eh, to, to do the wickedness, to know eh, that the grace, grace day, you know, eh, they will always be forgiven. And, I, and that is that Christian mentality, right? Well, that I, you two thirds have that Christian, that Christian mentality, you know, eh, or they do all the wickedness and boom, or they run in church Sunday, you know, and ask forgiveness, you know, and the next week or they continue, or they doing the same thing, or they know went and repent for, right? So all they having pleasure in, in these things, in these wickedness, in these adultery and these fornication, all these, all these ungodly things, or they having pleasure in them, right? So I'm going to read it over, you ready, most I say. Romans 1 32, he says, Who knowing the judgment of power, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. You're all taking this grace thing for a game. You're all taking this thing for granted. Scripture says the wages of sin is death. Alright. There's um the Roman two verse twelve. He said, For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and as many have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Right? He say, For not the hearers of the law are just before power, but the doers of the law shall be justified right so hey, those who, who do want to keep the Mosai law you know hey, to keep his word or they shall be or they shall perish with old law right and as many have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law right he say for not the hearers of the law are just before god but the doers of the law shall be justified so you know hey, we trying to keep the Mosai word hey you know, he give you that grace period, you know, sometimes we might, we might falter, you know, because the scriptures say our righteousness is like filthy rags, right? But we will, we will practice the righteous act, you know, to keep the most high law to the best abilities. You know, we're not going to sin, try to sin, sin willfully, you know, to know hey, these things, these things wrong and just to, just to go and do it and continue doing it. That is just, that is just wickedness. Right, there is um, there is second Ezra's verse, second Ezra's nine, verse eleven. He say, and they that have looted my law, while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, it would understood not, but despise it. The same must know it after death by pain. Right? So the doors of repentance open. Right? But all they want to cast away the most high law to continue doing all the wickedness, thinking, you know, a grace, grace day. Right? So no matter all they, how much wickedness all they do and continue doing back the same thing. Right? It, it, it could be good with all yeah. No, God forbid that. Not because. Grace are bound, or they will continue in, in, in wickedness, right? So the, the, the place of repentance open for they to turn away from all their wicked ways, you know, from that old man all they was back then, right? To the, this new creature, right? And this same scripture, the goes back to show you the most high commandments not done away with, right? Because what we going to be judged on, what the most high commanded judge we on by the same law. By the same Old Testament, right? But we say, he say, for the hearers of the law are just before power, but the doers of the law shall be justified, right? Because they, you're practicing the righteous act. The Most High will show you mercy. You know, you're trying to keep the laws to your best abilities, right? There's um, the Sirach. Sirach 44, verse 20. 
He said, who keep the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him, he established the covenant in his flesh. And when he was proved, he was found faithful. Right? So hey, there we go be, there where we the Most High go show we justice. We go be justified. Right? And we will be found faithful because we kept the commandments to the best abilities. Right? And not going back eh, to, to, to always sin. Right? And the scripture says, Heap he not sin upon sin. So we know in a thou shall not commit adultery. You ain't gonna go back and do that same thing to have to lay down with another man wife. We know that that wrong. Right? So we not, not to have pleasure in, in these things. Right? There is Judges 5 verse 11. He said, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous act of the Lord Yahweh, even the righteous act towards the inhabitant of his village in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh go down to the gates. So we we had to do a we had to practice the righteous act, which is the laws, statutes, and commandments. Ayah Basham Yoshai. Right? There is there is Acts 24 verse 16. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards power. And towards men. So we, we had to exercise that. Practice the righteous act. We had to exercise. You know. To, 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 to not offend our father. To not offend your Basham Yoshai. Right. By you know by, by breaking the commandments willfully. You know. So we not to off try to offend the Lord. So we had to rehearse the righteous act. We had to exercise it. Practice it. You know, as they have saying, you know, practice make perfect. So we got to practice the righteous act. Right? I'll jump up to verse 14. He said, But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call Hershey, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Right? So believing in all things which are written in the laws and in the prophet. You know, and there is, and there is just another cut for these so-called Christians. You know, you can show you the laws not done away with. Right? We are believing all things. You know, the Mosai gave you straight commandments as such as came. What we should do to live and what we should do to avoid punishment. Right? You know, so... Hope this was edifying. You know, I just want to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yoshai, Basham Raka Kadash, you know, and double honors to the apostles and them, you know, and the elders and great millstone who rule well, who teach us this truth through the Spirit of Yahweh Basham Yoshai. You know, I just want to say to the Akiyam Aude, all your whole strong, you know, Shalom. We soon out of this place.